Um, I'm Sharifa and my teammates are Aina Mazlin, uh, Nashato and Aina Zura. Um, so basically our group have been chosen to carry out um, the sales and voicing information system of a bakery business. Um, but we also have decided uh, to try to pull off a system of um, a point of sales, business point of sales or uh, known as a POS system. So uh, our project significance are uh, to reduce the usage of manual and manual invoicing and sales system. Um, secondly, is to be able to consult daily sales and transactions um, and companies' activities even if we are um, the outside establishment. Um, and the last significance is um, to reduce the simple errors in sales, uh, invoicing, accounting, and inventory report. So now we uh, all will be briefly explain how the system works in our system and we all will be demonstrating every single element in this um, Excel file. So let's start by clicking this um, element here and we will proceed to the very first part of our system. Assalamu alaikum and hi, I'm Nishat Al Ain and I will continue this presentation by showing you raw data and also invoice history. So as you can see here, there are 700 raw data that we had gathered before processing them into a sales and invoice information system. So for the first column, we can see the invoice number. The function of this invoice number is to distinguish every 700 transaction that had happened. For each attribute, we use filter function to narrow down the data in which allow us to focus only to the data that we want to see. To illustrate, click on the attribute uh, date ordered. Here we can see the option of the date that can be chosen. So by clicking 3rd and the 3rd and 4th February, the data will be filtered and show the date according to what had been chosen. Let's proceed to the home page. Um, as you can see here, this um, is a series of uh, linked items that serve to foster um, the navigation between um, all the different sheets in this system. This home page also comprises of our bakery's um, address, uh, slogan and business background. Well, as you can see here, there are eight of them in our systems and we have menu, order, um, new order, uh, receipt, um, invoice history, sales transaction history, sales performance, self details and staff performance. We use the hyperlink feature um, to enable its function navigating to all the sheets um, in this system that we want. So just um, right click the element here and add the hyperlink and select a place in this Excel document. And then plus uh, we can add one more additional feature screen tip to make um, our system interesting. Hi, my name is Aina Zura and we will proceed with the menu section. Uh, first of all, if we scroll down the sheet, our bakery sells a total of 70 types of products under 14 categories of confectionaries. And then let's move on to our menu section. Since our bakery is a physical store, uh, both customer and cashier will be able to view the menu which is not displayed at the countertop racks such as slices and birthday cakes and the menu function is also for customer who wants to make their orders in advance if you look here we have the elements of categories which is linked to all the products in this sheet and then let's see if we click cookies the screen will automatically move to the category of cookies this sheet, uh, this sheet shows all different kinds of cookies we sell with the pictures of them which is convenient for our customers to make their orders so they won't get hesitated with anything and they will have a picture of what they are going to buy. Scrolling down again, we can see the arrow elements here which uh, at each of the categories and if we click the arrow, the element will ease us from scrolling up to the very top of the page. Uh, with this element, we can, have, we can save more time. And then we have the home button here which will get the system returned to the home page in case the cashier wants to uh, navigate to other part of the system. And then back to the menu. After the customers have decided to make their orders, the cashier will then proceed to order. 
This element is linked to the next trade which is new order. New order is when the cashier prepares a new transaction for the customers before the payment. First thing before filling up the orders, the cashier must first uh, type in their staff ID. And then we have dictate the specific ID only which is derived from our raw data. Um, at this cell, if we enter anything other than the ID from the raw data, it will appear an invalid ID pop-up notice. This feature is a customized message of data validation. And then this new, new invoice ID from the raw data, we can tell that a customer with membership will start the invoice number with letter M while non-members are letter X. And then proceed to customer's name. The membership, the membership status here depends on the invoice ID and the st status itself. If the customer is a non-member, we can just delete uh, all the data in this cell and leave it blank. And this drop-down feature is also derived from data validation. Lastly, the date, uh, we can choose today's date and in this system, we have set it for March 2022 only. Um, same as the above features, we use data validation and set out all the dates in March 2022. And then moving on to the order, before we choose the products, the cashier must first type in the categories as the product listed will appear based on the categories. Um, for example, if we select cupcake and the, uh, and the item will only appear the products of cupcake only. We use data validation feature with the formula of indirect and substitute. The product code and the price are also automatically appear by using the VLOOKUP feature. Next, the quantity can be typed on the keyboard or just toggle between these two buttons here and the subtotal will automatically calculate it. The important part here is if we want to remove an order, we can just delete all the data on the row and leave them blank. Uh, next is the payment. Um, the grand total here is a value of total discount and applied discount for members only. But if the customer is a non-member, we must change its invoice ID, member status and member ID as the discount is not applicable for them. Next, we can click this card and the screen will back to the top of the sheet. Click pay and this whole new order will be generated into a receipt after the customer has paid. Hi, it's me again, Sharifa, and we will proceed to the receipt. Um, so, after we proceed uh, to make payment earlier at the new order sheet, we will uh, get to generate um, the receipt. So, the formulas here are simple as the data on the receipt um, generated are all linked from the new order sheet before. So we have already input the formula um, here in these cells and whatever the products the cashier have uh, keyed in, they will appear automatically in, on this receipt. As you can see here, just type equal then um, new order with the quotation mark and input the data cells. And of course, you uh, be able to see um, the subtotal of the products that the customers have chosen to buy and of course on this receipt you can see um, the address the date which is also linked uh, to the new order and the staff ID to make um, ease for the customers if that they, they have um, issues in the future and we have price uh, amount which also are linked to the new order sheets before so this count is for uh, membership if you remember from the new order sheets if we choose um, the member then it will appear a 10 uh, percent discount for the customer with the membership and also on the receipt too so of course um, we have the our operation hours um, our contact number and then the um, the terms after the customers bought our products. So next is the invoice history. For this part, we use the lookup sum and calculating formulas such as subtract and multiplications. By inserting the invoice ID, the input from the raw data earlier, 
uh, it will show us the customer's information regarding on the things that they have bought as according to the transaction history itself. So, all the information in these rows are fetched by using VLOOKUP formula. However, there are also customers who bought more than just one item. The issue is VLOOKUP can only fetch one item instead for the whole transaction. This can be solved by adding the rows formula. Multiple items can be looked up. We also added a helper column to specify each row in the data with individualized code. Therefore, all details of the transaction can be presented. As for the subtotal, the whole amount is calculated by using the sum formula. For our shop, if the customer is a member, they will, re they will receive a 10% discount. Hence, the amount of subtotal will be subtracted with the total discount to get the total pay value for the customers to pay. So that's all for me. Thank you. So, we proceed to our weekly sales transaction history, and this is it. Um, we use filter formula to filter all the raw data um, by week. So, um, the filter formula will match each date and the week that we have chosen. So, like, um, for example, if we type in week 4 here, on this cell week it will only show the data for week 4 only and as you can see here it starts from 22nd February to 28th of February 2022 um, as for the date we use VLOOKUP to match each date and for total sales we use sum to calculate all the total ringgit received now I will present about sales performance so for sales performance, we use um, the pivot table. The pivot table data are gathered from the raw data. So from the pivot table data, it is converted to a pivot chart to illustrate the data. The illustration of the data provides simple structure which makes us easier to understand. So for the first pivot chart, we use the clustered bar chart. It analyzes the data of total quantity sold by categories. Now, we can see which categories has the highest and the lowest sales. It can also identify the preferred and most bought by customers. Then, we use a slicer to choose specific categories in the slicer list. For the slicer, we use a report connection to connect one slicer to two pivot charts. The second pivot chart shows the total sales according to the categories. The third pivot chart analyzes the total items sold per week. This line chart shows the overall illustration of increase and decrease of quantity sold. We can clearly see that the performance become low and high according to different weeks. Based on the chart, week 4 has the highest item sold while week 1 has the lowest. The last chart shows the data of total revenue received. The chart shows that week 4 has the highest sales which amounted to 6030.30 cent ringgit and both charts are connected to the same slicer which we can pick according to its date. Next, I will present about staff details. To see the staff details, we need to input the staff ID. When we input a specific staff ID, it will show the details of the staff. Then we inserted the data validation on the staff ID box. When an incorrect staff ID is entered, a pop-up notice will tell us that there is an error. And we are required to only put the existing staff ID. From the staff name to salary, we use VLOOKUP to look up the data from the staff data sheet. We inserted the if error formula to eliminate error when there is no information on each box. For the picture of the staff, we use a custom formula to match the staff photo with the staff ID. Then when we, we input a staff ID, it will change according to the staff ID. Lastly is the staff performance. We can see how employees perform based on the total sales and total transaction. The data are gathered from the raw data.
we depict the data into bar charts and clustered bar charts by using a pivot chart. By adding a slicer, we can choose a specific staff to see each of their performance. Both pivot chart is connected to the same slicer by setting it in the report connection. We can also compare two or more staff at one time. According to the first pivot chart, Lim Wen Hui has the highest sales while Ratna Walia has the lower sales. From there, we can identify who produced good and low performance. Well, that brings us to the end of our presentation. We have completed all the demonstration um, on this system of ours. So, our time is just about up. So, to finish, we would like to say thank you so much for your attention.